Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. We've got Kyle writing in on the email here. Heading of the email is Canon DSLR question. Uh, decision, I should say. He's trying to make a decision here. He says, I was wondering about two cameras to pick from. The Canon EOS 60 Mark II and the 7D II. And he's got brackets, disclaimer, the ADD up, upcoming 7D Mark III, Nikon, Sony, and Panasonic are not options. I am a hobbyist and therefore, most likely, won't go for a 5D Mark IV or a Mark III. I shoot a bit of everything. Here are the pros of each in my eyes. A 6D Mark II, the pros are full frame sensor, slight resolution bump, Digic 7 processor, meaning native ISO range of 100 to 40,000 and cleaner high ISOs, a bit closer to a Pro 5D body. In-body Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, NFC, and GPS, tilting touchscreen, 4K time-lapse, more future-proofed. Then we got the cons. Poor dynamic range in RAW at base ISOs, no 4K, AF points bunched together, not a pro body, no dual card slots, no joysticks, no headphone jack, etc. Expensive for the specs. Then we got a 7D Mark II, pros, price of body and lenses, pro level body, insane 65 point AF system, 10 frames per second, bigger buffer, even less megapixels, image quality is outstanding, even at less megapixels, image quality is outstanding, best ISO performance of any Canon APS-C body, dual card slots, joystick, headphone jack, extremely well weather sealed. GPS, 1.6 times crop means longer telephoto lenses. Cons, 1.6 times crop also means not as wide lenses. No 4K, no Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, or NFC. More of a body of the past than of the future. No tilting or touchscreen. To me, the quality of the 6D Mark II sans the sports wildlife features are more professional to me. The newer sensor, processor, and the fact it's full frame. The 7D, however, is a pro body with dual card slots. More convenient options. Uh, connectivity options, sorry, and a joystick plus uh, all of speed options. I'd love to get your thoughts on these two cameras and the break the tie, if you will. Again, I'm an enthusiast, hence the reason I said no 5Ds. Again, also, I shoot a little of everything. Thanks for any input. Well, thanks for your question, Kyle. Looks like you've really thought this out very, very well. Um, there's some you've you've really kind of summed it up well. Uh, I'm just going to go with the fact that the disclaimer that you said the ADD, the 7D Mark III, the Nikon, the Sony, the Panasonic are not options for you. You got it nailed down to these two, and this is what you want to choose from. So I'm not even going to suggest other options. I will go with the 6D Mark II. Here's why. First of all, the cons, poor dynamic range in raw base ISOs. I don't really think it's that bad. I think it's pretty comparable in real-world shooting terms. I don't think it's awful or anything. It may not technically be as good as some other cameras, but I think it's still a very good performing camera. No 4K. Yeah, it, it's got no 4K, but we, you know, now that it's a 7D. So, you know, apples to apples. So uh, between the two, that's not really a disadvantage. AF points bunched together. I still think it's a pretty decent uh, autofocusing camera. I really don't think unless you're just going to be uh, a pro sports photographer, which you probably wouldn't be buying either of these cameras, I don't think you're going to see a problem. Not a pro body. Um, it doesn't bother me that it doesn't have dual card slots. I've had cameras that have them, and I like them. I've had cameras that don't, and it doesn't really bother me. Uh, no joystick. Again, not a huge deal to me. No headphone jack. I don't tend to use headphone jacks. I, I guess it's the way I shoot, but I typically don't. I mean, the G85, I, I don't, I'm don't. i never using a headphone set up with it. Expensive for the specs. Um, maybe, but I've seen some really good sales on it, and you could get refurbs, factory refurbs used. You could get it for a good price if you shop. The 70 Mark II, a lot of your pros are, are, are good points. However, it is older. And it's getting, as you pointed, it's out. It's not really a future-proofed body. It's more of a, po a body of the past uh, than of the future. Um, and I just like the full-frame goodness of the 60 Mark II. Um, and the cons are too much for me. It's too old. And I just, it's, you know, if you're asking my opinion which way to go, I think the 60 Mark II is the way to go. And I kind of feel that you've already got that. Um, that's way way you want to go. You just want to make sure you're not overlooking something. And yeah, I would say for sure go with the 6D Mark II. That that would be my choice as well. Let me throw it back to our viewers. Let me throw it back to you guys. What would you do in this situation? 6D Mark II or 7D Mark II? Uh, what would you do and why? Do you agree with me on my reasonings? Do you agree with everything? that Kyle has laid out here. Has he missed something? Let us know in the comments below. Let's discuss it. Always great to hear back from you guys. Get your opinions. Help our viewers out when they're trying to make a buying decision. It really rounds out the input and gives them things to consider, and it's very helpful. Thanks for tuning in. Thanks for your question, Kyle. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.